That's right guys, I finally have a new set of wheels for the Traxxas Max. These are Louise MT Pioneers, they have Max written just above the hex. So these are specifically made for the Traxxas Max. And as you can see, they are microfiber technology, so they've got some sort of material like uh, nylon or something inside the, the rubber. So they should not balloon anywhere near as much as the stock wheels, which is a really good thing because the stock wheels balloon quite a lot. They are coming from Hobby Direct. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in these. They are very nice wheels. Now comparing them to the stock wheels, they are virtually the same size as in diameter. They seem to be a little bit skinnier than the stock wheels, although these stock wheels are quite old now, so they could have flattened out and become slightly wider than they should be. And I think this is gonna be a little bit hard to see on camera, but it seems like the new wheels are slightly more offset, so it should widen the truck even more giving it a little bit more stability. They kind of look small, but I think it's just because the rims are so large compared to the stock rims and the tires themselves aren't so, so large. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. Can't wait to go and test them out. But guys, the main point of actually getting these wheels was so I could take the Max out and test the basher body again because I haven't really had a chance to take it out because I haven't had any decent wheels for the car. But as some of you would already know, I've actually installed the Team Corelli Dementor 6S speed control. I will be running it on 6S today. But as you can see guys, I've also installed a 34 millimeter WTF cooling fan because the stock cooling fan on these Team Corelli speed controls aren't the greatest. The only other change I made was actually replace the stock rear shock oil. I think it's 30 or 40 weight stock. I put 90 weight in there because the Traxxas Max is extremely bouncy. 90 weight probably seems a bit overkill, but I think it's gonna be perfect for this car. Now guys, I don't intend to run this car on six cell all the time, but the only ones that I've actually got that fit are these Yumi Power 3300 milliamp 50C six cell batteries. They are quite old, but I think because this car's got the 36 series motor, not a 40 or 42 series, they should be okay. Wow, these tires are really, really slippery on this surface. some of the crashes that it survives. Nope, like that crash, that was pretty brutal. It just keeps going. So much power, but the wheels still aren't quite big enough or heavy enough to, to get the backflips and stuff. Oh, there goes the body. So I'm pretty sure this WTF cooling fan's doing the job, even just plugged directly into the, the speed control. So I'm not gonna have to run a separate two cell battery for the fan. That's a really good thing.
had a funny feeling I was going to miss the, the jump then. <laughs> Guys, as soon as I can, I'll get this to a skate park or something. It's really hard to line this, this single jump up. And even when I do line it up, as you can see, it's not really the, the greatest jumps. Not sure what happened then. <laughs> well, so far guys, I really like the wheels. They're a good all-round wheel, maybe not for the real low dirt sort of areas because they are quite slippery, but grass and this rock sort of surface and the bark files up here, I think it's going to be really good. This shell has made all the difference. You know, it is much stronger than it was yeah i'm very happy with that basher body shell well worth the investment if you want one guys <laughs> Guys, you don't understand how hard this is to line up. I might have to use the multifunction for a little bit, see if it actually helps. But I'm really having no luck at the moment. <laughs> That's better. The only problem with the multifunction is it almost seems like you lose some steering. <laughs> I'm glad you're standing over there. <laughs> oh, hey guys, I think I might have broken something. Yep, I lost a rear drive shaft. I can't get it out of there, it's kind of wedged in, but yep, that is all over for the max until I get some new drive shafts. Guys, I think I might actually get a whole new wide kit for this. Go over the whole car, put new bearings, put new shock oil, just go over the whole thing and make it like new again. See how long a full brand new set of extended drive shafts actually last. See what the basher body does for a brand new car. See how much longer it can make it, you know, withstand all these bad crashes and stuff. But guys, seriously, the Max is one of the toughest cars on the market these days. I usually use this as my backup car because it is just so tough. You can just go as hard as you really want on it. As you can see, there is slight downfalls with the plastic shafts and stuff, but even just putting that little sleeve mod on there, they've they've extended the life of the inners by, yeah, a long shot. So I will put a link in the description to the mod video. It's not hard, you basically just get a outer sleeve, cut it in half and put half on one rear inner drive shaft and one on the other drive shaft, and it prevents them from, from twisting like, uh, like licorice. The Louise MT Pioneers, they are really good, but they are just a little bit small for the flips and stuff and the, the air control. So I might have to get another set, chuck these on the Armour Crayon, my Typhon Mega Hybrid, because I think these will be perfect for the, for the Typhon Mega. And yeah guys, the WTF fan is doing a really good job. The motor's not heating up too much, so I don't think I'm gonna have to go overboard with the fan. And as I said, the 3,300 milliamp batteries, I think I'm gonna have to get some new ones I might get 4,000 milliamps or something, a bit bigger. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully they fit in this. Can't wait to bring it back out. It's an absolute beast on 6L. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Catch you in the next video, and stay safe.